So this first one was a it was a still life of this bunch of roses in a glass vase, and uh, I decided to film myself painting it. Although it didn't work out entirely according to plan, there were so many changes of light going across the uh, canvas, and I decided ultimately that it wasn't a very good bit of video. So uh, I kept bits of it and uh, speeded it up, but it's about, you can see what I'm doing here. I essentially draw it out and then I map it out tonally. So that I've got a good sort of tonal map to, to work on, to, to start adding color to, which um, gives it a bit of structure straight away. You know, it's not drawn too, you know, it's drawn accurately enough. And, uh, and then I start adding color to it. And you know, I can modify it obviously as much as I want. And the middle section was ruined by, um, uh, faulty um, filming techniques and um, and light just raking across the uh, surface of the canvas, which I, I wasn't really aware of when I was doing this. Um, so you can see where I'm going with it there. I took it up to this stage and I thought that's pretty much what I was after. Uh, but I stuck it in a frame. This is a painting of a couple of lions I did. Again, the same thing. I draw it out, you know, and then start tonally, you know, draw it out tonally essentially, and then start putting in colour. I like to get the sky, rough sort of sky colour in pretty early so that I can relate everything that comes after it to that. And it's just a case of just building it up gradually, you know, and um, seeing, uh, making sure the colours work together and, uh, you know, obviously have an idea where I want it to be and it's just a case of working on it. Keep. <laughs> Keep, uh, this was quite fiddly. And here's another one, elephants, similar sort of approach. You know, tonally drawn out first in paint and then, um, oh, I'd, initially, the first thing I do is with pencil, get the rough uh, layout in pencil, then I do a tonal uh, version of it. And then I start adding color, which again, uh, just, you know, evolve, get the sky in relatively early. And these elephants, they were, in the photographs, they were quite brown and I thought that was a sort of a skin tone, but I suspect it was actually more just they had a lot of dirt on them, so I, I, I reduced the, the reddish brownish hue and made them all grey, and that's kind of how they ended up. Uh, this one here is a family of Grant Cardone, the um, American billionaire entrepreneur, and um, again, you know, similar sort of approach, drew them out uh, tonally. And then started adding colour. I thought I've got to get his wife's rather an attractive woman. I thought I've got to get her right. If I can get her right, I can uh, feel more confident about the other figures, the little girls, and Mr. Cardone himself. And um, I think that worked quite nicely. It's um, uh, yeah, quite a successful painting. I think that one. He's got it in his office now in Miami. And. Um, this will show the finished product, but it is, it's just that these are the stages my paintings go through. It's tonal, then it's just building it up gradually, you know, um, and then shoving it in a frame. And here's another speeded up one, which uh, is a portrait of a friend of mine, an old friend. I hadn't seen him for a long time, actually, and um, yeah, I thought he was yeah, looking rather older than I was expecting to look, perhaps. Maybe he's just having an off day, I think he was at the time, but um, I thought I would make an interesting portrait. And um, so it's the same, again, same approach you can see happening there. It's just getting it, getting the filling the space, get, refining it gradually as you go and uh, refining the details the further you go with the painting. And um, Finally, you get to a, a point where you think that will do. Where you either discard it or you decide it's going to work and uh, shove it in a frame. Which is uh, what I did with this one. And anyway, this is another one which was a commission I did for a, a Russian fellow a few years ago. This is a copy of a Lanskoy painting. And it's the same, you can just see it's just building it up, you know, you know what it's going to look like, or you want it to look like ultimately. This is actually rather difficult when you've got an abstract painting like this. Textures and colours and it just seems like a mess in, well not a mess, but you know, there's obviously a structure to it, but um, 
it took a while to build that up. This is a Van Gogh. Um, I doubt very much his canvas ever looked like that. I mean, I don't think he'd have started it off in the same way I have done here. I'm just applying my usual approach to every painting I do, and I do it with him. I just feel once I've got the tonal drawing done, then I know where I am, and the rest follows relatively smoothly. So um, this is where I was going with this one. This is um, Starry Night Over the Rhone, this painting was called. I'd seen it a short while prior to this in, in an exhibition at the Tate Gallery in London. And then you just sit and you just build it up in stages. And this one, same thing, this was a Poussin painting. Tonally represented to start with and just adding colour bit by bit. And um, it finally evolves into uh, a painting which you can consider finished or um, as close to it as, as I was prepared to go.